I'm kind of excited today because, well, I didn't know Hobby Lobby sold filament until recently, and I was able to pick up a roll so that I can try it. It is a one kilogram roll. It is PLA. It's pretty much your standard 1.75 millimeter roll. And check this out. It only costs $12.99. It does come spooled up, and that spool is a plastic spool. And here's a fast picture of those specs. But more importantly, let's load it up in a printer and see how well it does. So I've loaded it up onto one of my machines. It is sitting on the A1 on an AMS light. The spool does fit perfectly. And we're going to print a relatively complicated part. This is a print-in-place part, no supports. And we did not dry the filament. We've just removed it out of the bag, and we're going to start our print job. At first glance, the part looks, well, perfect, except for this little piece that's hanging off on the side, and it just kind of broke off. So it was probably just some left over from the extrusion when it dragged it back over. Overall, the part looks pretty good. Not bad at all. And all little moving parts appear to move. So we'll take that as a win. Feels pretty good. Nothing about this PLA feels any different than any other PLA that I've ever used. So let's go and figure out how well it works. We'll go ahead and load up some earbuds into the holder. That's what this is. It's an earbud holder. And then you wind up the table and it gives you a place to store them and it keeps the cable safe and it keeps the headphones safe. And yeah, it's functional. It works. It feels pretty decent. I like the color of orange that it is. So there you have it. If you're looking for some affordable filament, go down to your local Hobby Lobby and uh, apparently they carry filament now. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.